With his pass and playing in that role is to hold the man. Rare loose touch from Benson. Oh, and the cross! Oh, Gary Rogers with a brilliant save, but Carr is there. Looks for the offside flag, it isn't there. And Shamrock Rovers lead inside four minutes. But it was almost an own goal. The initial mistake was Robbie Benson's over in the far corner. Rogers dumped on talk out of a hole, but Dan Carr pounced. Goes in the header, here we see, there's the flick away. Picked up by Calvin, the plays it back in, he's on his own, he's in space. Now he smacks it here, now, here, there, does he? Does, but Gartner didn't make contact with the ball. Advance of USA, maybe. I uh, said no surprise. <laughs> Hooked effort from Kustrain, oh, another chance! And Rogers with a flying save to deny Carr a second. It'll be, but it was... A, Jane McGrath did very well. It looked like Lopez has gone. Look, you see this reaction here. You've got to calm it down, referee. Stand back from it. Rovers players need to stay away. But they've started well in the match. All right, showing a bit of aggression. But that's a red card. That's yes. a red. Here's Duffy. Good touch to get it under control. Still with Duffy in towards Huben. He's done it again. 15th league goal of the season for Patrick Huben. His first chance. And he's taken it. Massey. Four obvious dangers, all towards the back, Ruben right in the middle, Cleary's header! And from behind, Dundalk lead, another perfectly placed header, it was Ruben in the first half, it's Daniel Cleary in the second, his first goal for his new club, and it was brilliantly placed. Graham Cummins and Kieran Sadler in quick succession, 3-0 court now as Massey, oh he's got plenty behind that! Chinchinski looked like he had it covered. And what about this? Dundalk race into a two goal lead with two goals in the space of what? Less than four minutes. Well, that's another soft goal. I mean, they've got a goalkeeper coming in, Alan McManus, but unfortunately, he's going to be too late to rescue this season unless it happens for them in the court. Here's Massey striding towards the box, everyone backing off. Nobody really makes a challenge until it's too late. But he's still your goalkeeper should save from that distance, that power. Strain again, great feet, looking to bend it off the crossbar again, but in! Roberto Lopez has hauled Shamrock Rovers back into it. Yes, but I'm just questioning it. It's not always about young players. They should be the best players to win the match. Oh, McGrath has set up Robbie Benson, and in! And what a hammer blow for Shamrock Rovers. Their players with their hands on their knees and on their head, having just got themselves back into the game within seconds. Undone at the other end. Slipped through by Benson to Adarjan. Back towards Benson again. They've worked it well and they've scored again. Robbie Benson. Well, by his standards, a quiet game. But look what he does when Dundalk need him. Two goals in this second half for Benson. And Dundalk finally looking home and hosed here. Yeah, but it was superb by Huben with his back to the goal again. Linked it up, played it into... Adarjan, he waited on the run for Benson, once again he runs, unmarked in the middle of the field, here you go, here's the pass, where you go, front of that, just stick it in the net.